Hi there, friends. Thank you for stopping in and checking out my thoughts. I'm excited to share them with you. Um, and I first want to start off by saying that Foster's book, Celebration of Discipline, is probably my most revered Christian book, not including the Bible, obviously. I've read it three or four times, and I continue to be convicted by the life I should be living and realizing how far away from holiness I really am. I believe Foster sums up the introduction in one sentence on page 11 when he says, Our world is hungry for genuinely changed people. The truth is, the only way the world is ever going to change is if I change through the power of the Holy Spirit, brought on by my seeking first His kingdom and His righteousness. That change is what the disciplines are all about. They're what facilitate that, that relationship with God and that closeness and intimacy with God. I think what convicted me and was a revelation to me was the fact that I cannot accomplish this change on my own. In fact, Foster talks about willpower and its inability to bring about the change we so desperately desire. I realized that willpower may be able to make the outward body stop doing something, but it can't make the mind think differently or make attitudes change. I think that one of the things that struck me when talking about the inner disciplines is the intimacy they not only promote, but also need in order to bring about the closeness that we desire with God. There's a certain intentionality that comes with meditation, prayer, fasting, and study. One doesn't fall into these things or fly by the seat of their pants. One has to purposely pursue these disciplines, setting aside time, paying attention, making the effort to be fully present in the moment with God. The thing I find troubling, <clears throat> well, maybe not troubling, maybe just hard to grasp onto, I guess, is when Foster talks about meditating on the events of the day. I'm sure it's probably only because I, I haven't really spent any time doing this, but it seems to me that I would be focusing my mind and my heart on human events rather than on God. I guess if I, I change my thinking to trying to find God in the midst of these human events, it might allow me to observe the divine hand in the world today. And even more importantly, how God can use me to connect with the humans involved in those events. So those are my thoughts about Foster's book, Celebration of Discipline, the first part um, regarding the inward disciplines. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback. Thank you.